A few months ago, we added one of these tank level sensors to the freshwater tank in our DIY camper van conversion, but we didn't show how to program it. It's a pretty simple device that works by changing the sensor values based on this little floaty part to tell you whether the tank is full or empty. So let's get started. Here's how to wire it. Push the wires from the tank sensor into two of the Servo GX terminal blocks, lining them up top to bottom like so. The polarity does not matter for these. Push the terminal block into the tank sensor port and touch the GX touch screen to bring up the menu. Press the menu button, press settings, scroll all the way to the bottom and click on IO for inputs and outputs. Click on analog inputs and we connected our tank sensors to tank level input number one on the Servo GX as noted by the numbers on the top of the unit. So we're going to turn on tank level input number one. Go back to settings levels, scroll up and click on display and language. Toggle the show tank overview setting to on. Press the back button twice and now you should be able to see your newly connected tank sensor. Click on the new tank sensor, click set up and change your settings to whatever is appropriate for your setup. I'm going to say this is for a freshwater tank and I want it to be measured in US gallons. Now our Titan Vans over the wheel well tank is 20 gallons and for the standard change that to whatever resistance is listed on the spec sheet for your sending unit. Now if you aren't sure what the standard should be or it doesn't say in the manual or whatever you can click custom Scroll down to sensor value, move the float to the full position or all the way up and note the number next to the sensor value and put that number in the sensor value when full setting. Scroll back down to the sensor value, move the float to the empty position and note the number next to the sensor valve and put that number in the sensor valve when empty setting. Now if you have a tank that's shaped like a cone or something like that for whatever reason, uh, where if the float valve is at 50%, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have 50% of your water left, you can actually set a custom shape telling the Servo GX that, for example, if the sensor is at 75%, that means I have 56% water left. And if the sensor is at 50%, I have 27% water left. And if the sensor is at 25%, I have 9% water left. And there's calculators and geometry nerds who I'm sure would love to help you with that if you have a weird shaped tank like that. And lastly, we could set up a low level alarm that will give us an alert on the home screen if our tank falls below, for example, 5% for more than 5 seconds. Now that's all set up, we can back out to the home page by hitting the pages button. Scroll to the left and we can see our tank levels. Now if we move the float, the level on the screen responds accordingly. If we move the sensor all the way to the bottom, we get an audible alarm that our tank has fallen below 5% for 5 seconds. And if you are installing a float valve like this in a wastewater tank and wanted the opposite to happen when the tank level is full, there's also a high level alarm in the sensor setup menu we were previously in. And that's really all there is to it. You can add up to four of these sensors to one Servo GX to monitor all kinds of tanks, really. I'll leave links to both the Servo GX as well as this sensor that I'm showing in today's video in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.